We're gonna do some inshore trolling today on my buddy's Ginu here in the Florida Keys. We're gonna be trolling little plugs like this one. I got a few right here. I've been looking all morning for my X wraps. X wraps are like these little lures, Ugh. but I cannot find them. And I was like, I gotta start this video or we're, nothing's gonna happen. I gotta go fishing. So I did manage to find these laying around. We're gonna do a light action rod. It's got 12 pound power pro with some 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on there. Artificial baits and a freaking hatchet. You're probably thinking, wait, why is Heiko holding a hatchet? <sighs> Let me explain. Bespoke Post reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out some of their awesome boxes. So I searched through their website and they have everything from outdoor gear, clothing, home goods, barware, and even live oysters. Damn, so many choices. But I told them I want the trail box, which comes with a sweet knife, survival book, wire saw, and survival rope. And then I saw the field hatchet. I need this. Who doesn't need a badass hatchet? I don't know. They also sent me the Weekender, which is an awesome bag that'll be perfect for bringing my tools into the woods. And something about it just reminds me of Indiana Jones, ready to tackle an adventure. Every box has around $70 in value, but only costs $45 only pay for the boxes that you want. Every month you can see what you're gonna get and you have the choice to swap it out if you want. Man, this hatchet that I got would look awesome just hanging on the wall, but what can I do with it? Maybe chop down a tree or I could use it for self-protection, maybe. Or I'll just try my best to slay a shark with it. Yes. Anyways, I think it's time we go fishing. If you think any of the products on Bespoke Post would be cool for you or as a gift for someone you know, you can get 20% off your first box. Just click the link in the video description below or enter Yeehaw 20 during checkout. <laughs> so here we are with a hatchet. I also have this field box. It's water resistant. It's got a nice seal inside of it. Got a real nice knife in a leather pouch there. I'm just gonna put all our lures in here. We'll be taking this bad boy on the Ginu. Put the knife in there. Where's my pliers? Got my pliers. Woo! I think that's about all I need for a fishing trip. Made in America. Okay. Fishing pole, tackle box, and a hatchet. Now, if that doesn't smell like freedom, I don't know what does. I'm locked and loaded. I'll close it up. That's waterproof bag. Perfect. We shouldn't get drenched or yeah. anything, but... As long as we don't throw it in the water, the camera should be okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That's my second camera already. No. My second big one and like my eighth GoPro. Eighth GoPro? <laughs> yeah, I use a lot of GoPros. Uh, here's this and... Okay. Am I sitting on the bean bag or in the center there? Um. Probably be best to be on the bean bag. You can ditch the bean bag if you'd rather sit on the center. Yeah, I think I would. Okay. I prefer movability over uh, comfort. I got you. It's not the most comfortable, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, this is good. I like this. Yeah. Is third pull usually the charm on this one? You know what? It, it um. It doesn't have a choke, so it usually oh, okay. the first start does take three or four pulls, and then after that, it'll start in a half a pull. What is that, a 20 Yamaha? 15. 15. All right, this thing gets up and going. Ha. Woo! Oh, snap. Yeehaw! Oh, that's a good looking Rapala. Alright, are you trolling on the left side? Oh, uh, you can take it all the time, that should be better. Or you can take the right, right side, that should be better. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 
trolling along the mangroves. How far back you put it? I'm gonna go back like 50 foot, something like that. Right around, it's gonna be a matter of if we have a lot of weeds or not. There's quite a bit of grass there in the beginning. <laughs> fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a berry. If I was a little more drunk, I'd probably roll right off the side of this thing. Oh, Barry Cuda. Oh, well. Oh, Barry. Of course you hook into a Barracuda. Why can't you catch a big mangrove? Oh, yeah. Woo! Holy macaroni, those are some big boys, eh? You know what makes really big waves? The freaking, dive the dive boats. Yeah. Like, even in my boat, I'm worried about those waves. Yeah, fish on. Fish on, baby, fish on. Oh, I also got me a berry. Settle down there, mister. And away he goes. If we were targeting Barracuda, this would be a great day. <laughs> Holy, okay, that's not too bad. We get pretty close to the uh, edge sometimes there. Oh, we just jumped a tarpon. We just jumped. I didn't get it on video. Hanging out right there in that. Dude, that was sick. That, that was, was cool. that was so cool. I've never been like a big tarpon fisher guy but but honestly i can see the thrill of like having like a i don't know like some whiskey or some rum and like catch hooking into some big tarpon and just like on the sunset holy sh that boat's gonna throw one hell of a wake at us Woo! all right that handled it pretty well come back i had a fish bite yeah he got off Ooh. Wonder what it was. That's at least we're producing some hits, though. Yeah. Maybe maybe we just gotta find him. Oh, he's on! I got him. It's a, it's a snapper. Oh, he spit it right at the boat. Dude, that, I don't think that was the first one though. The, that first bite was a big one. Dude, this is freaking sick out here. Oh yeah, I forgot how stable these Ginus are. Ginu, 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 oh. However, the saying goes. Yeah, that current's ripping, huh? One more, come on, let this be the one. I got something. Oh, another barracuda. Swim free, barracuda. <laughs> Must have been a hit. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, big tarpon! Big tarpon! Holy! Big tarpon! Holy smokes! Dude, he's yeah, still on. He's still on. Alright, yeah, do whatever. I'll just keep moving around. Hopefully that boat doesn't drive right into us. Oh, 
dude, I'm standing for this. <sighs> Hell yeah, dude. That was a big tarpon. Dude, he's huge. I see him. <laughs> he spit it. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my God, dude. That was crazy. That was wild. That was really cool. Holy smokes, dude. Oh, trolling for the tarpon. Okay. Oh, get him back out there. Wow. Broke loose. Tarpon. Thank you. Thank you. My heart rate is racing. That's awesome that he stayed on that long enough. Yeah, and I think I got some shots of him jumping. Oh, good. Yo ho, yo ho. Is that a dive boat behind us? Yeah, I think it is. The big John Penny Camp boat, that one's like terrifying. Those are huge waves. Fish on, fish on. Feels like a barracuda. Yeah. What is that? Oh, a lizard fish or whatever? Yeah, lizard fish. But you wanna hand me that camera? Yeah, he's got a cool face. What a face. Woo! Yeah. Big boy waves. Dude, you could surf those. Look at that. I feel like they're a lot scarier than they actually turn out to be. Yeah, very true. Oh! It got off. Dude, it hit right at that log. You know, that feels like a berry. Dang. We got a berry. Yeah, schoolmaster. Dude. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. He's a chubby one. Chubby for his size. Yeah, he's... He's short but fat. So it's a good looking. I love Schoolmaster. We just need like four more or five more inches. Yeah, right? If he was just a little bigger. That's a good looking Schoolmaster. Good eating right there. <gasps> Look at that nurse shark. Oh, he swam off. Oh, did he grab the Schoolmaster? <laughs> Yeah, this looks sick. Pretty cool. Dude, there's some big logs down there. There's gotta be fish held up in there somewhere. Oh, this is like a little sandbar almost up in there. There's a little rope swing back here. What? A rope swing? <laughs> Imagine jumping a big tarpon in this terrain. That would be insane. If he jumped up into the roots and then he was like stuck in there. There's something swimming. Oh, like a little needle fish. Dude, we could race through here. <laughs> like that video you sent me with the, uh, that guy in the front of that jump boat. Could have a party back here. This is like party material. Yeah, fish on! What is that? Oh no. It's barracuda number freak. Oh, he spit the hook right into the rope. I'm on! What? Uh, no. They're everywhere. Yeah, the abominable barracuda. Oh, I should have let that one ride. I see a barracuda. A little one swimming right down there. Fish on, fish on. That might be a good fish. He's not coming to the surface. That... Oh, I got front row tickets to this show. I hope it's not a berry. Oh, he just got on a stick. Oh no. Three mares. Here, take over. It's all you. That's all you. He's still on there. I feel him on there. 
<gasps> he's off. No, 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 he's on. He's on. He's off the uh, the log I meant. Dude, it is a snapper. Heck yeah. Should I just flick him in? Flick him in. No. Oh, dude. Teamwork. Dude, that's a fatty. What? What the heck? Wow, right there on a lure. Oh. That is a Decent. Fatty. Oh. Mangrove snapper. Wish I put him up front. We can throw him in there. Oh, and yeah. Back. Head back, Woo I got one. I got one. He's not big. I can freaking horse him in here. He might be a snapper though. He's staying. No, actually. No. The the berries pick me. Home sweet home. Oh, we're back. It feels great to stand. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I am pulling that thing. I'm just I'm doing the easy work. We're gonna try and catch a nurse shark now for a little nurse shark catch and cook. I heard they were good. Hopefully we can find out. Got myself a rod. Alec just went back to his place. He's gonna flay up that uh, mangrove snapper that we caught. So we're gonna eat him in a second. But what I really wanna do is catch a nurse shark because I heard they're really good to eat. Is it true? I don't know, but I wanna find out and I'll give you an honest answer. If it doesn't taste good, I'll tell you. Got our hatchet here. I really wanna use this hatchet. Like I'm just dying to use it. We got some bonita strips for bait. I'm just thawing them out right now in a bag with some, some water. We'll strip some of those up. We'll chunk some up, throw it out. Try to get the nurse sharks to come around the dock and then we'll throw a line out and hopefully we'll get ourselves a big old nurse shark. You know, things are more fun the less safe they are. So you gotta take this safety cover off. Yeah, now we're talking. That's the only trick I know. I'm ready to catch a shark, as you can tell. Got some bonita. Okay, doing this on rocks is a really bad idea. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hurt my ax. This ax is for the shark. We just got ourselves a little bit of wire to a little uh, hook. Be goneth with you. <laughs> Is there a rod holder around here? Is that a rod holder? Looks like a flag pole, but it, it'll do. Wait, no, that's not gonna fit. Hmm. All right, I'll do it old school style. This reminds me of my childhood. Just lay the rod down like that. And then you put a little bit of weight on it. Perfect. Yeah. All right, cool. Now we wait. Inside of my field box, I have uh, this knife. This came with the field box. Really nice leather case. Hoo hoo hoo! Yeah, baby! This actually is probably perfect for flaying a uh, nurse shark. You know, a real rough, rugged knife. Get through that skin. I can even pull the skin back with the back. Where's that fish in? Oh, that's a sharp knife. Just cut right through that frozen bonita like nothing. Chum a little bit. Come and get it. Come and get it. That'll get them riled up. Some just... Oh, some, some, Something's taking it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we go. Something's got it. It doesn't feel like a nurse shark, though. Something keeps taking it and pulling it kind of hard, but it's not... I don't think it's a nurse shark though. I don't know what, it almost feels like it's a snapper, or a big run or something, picks it up and he's still going. He's still going, going. Oh, 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 I'm hooked. What, what is it? Oh, oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh. You ate that whole strip? Yeah. Look at that. Fatty.
right? It's the one day you try to catch a shark, you catch like all the coolest stuff but the shark. Oh, I got my wire all kinked up. <laughs> oh God. I don't know what it is. Come on, buddy, come back this way. Oh no, he got himself stuck on something. We got nurse sharks right there. Oh, I wanna catch him so bad. Oh, that's a legal nurse shark right there. Oh my gosh, dude, it's running hard. It's all you move around. What's going on? Right? What? Tighten that drag. <laughs> The drag is pretty tight. <laughs> oh no, no, it got off. No. No. What? Why? We didn't have the proper gear to land one of these sharks, and I'm pretty sure that last bite was a big bull shark. We'll be coming back out here to film a nurse shark catch and cook with the right gear real soon. Alec cooked up the two mangrove snappers that we caught today. He filleted them, dipped the fillets in cornmeal and crushed crackers, and fried them to the perfect crisp. We had an awesome time fishing today and filled our appetite with some amazing fresh snapper. What an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna stick around for the next video. And until then, cheers.